Hello viewers and a very warm welcome to all of you who are joining us for a brand new and exciting program of Dine With World. I hope you guys have had an amazing weekend and tried some of the recipes that we bring forward for you. And I am your host Aisha. I'm sure you guys are familiar with my face by now. Every week we have different chefs in the kitchen who prepare some lovely dishes for us. And today we have a very special chef with us. His name is Chef Wayan and he specializes in Southeast Asian cuisine. So let's go and say hello to him. So hello chef, how are you doing? I'm fine, yeah. Uh, welcome to the show and uh, I really hope you have fun with us today. So what are you cooking for us? Today I will uh, make the papaya salad. This is a Thai dish. This is, uh, this is will be good for the appetite, your uh, lunch or dinner. Mm -hmm. So maybe do you like it as you know, spicy or sweet. This is really Okay, good. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So like our chef said, that is going to have a lot of ingredients and a lot of different flavors. So I'm sure people who love salads, they can really try this out and impress their family and friends. So let's get started, chef. Uh, but before we get started, I hope you guys have your notepads and your pens ready. I want you to note down the ingredients. You're going to need green papaya 100 grams, carrots 30 grams, yeah. tomato 10 grams, green bean 10 grams, yeah. cherry tomato cut in half 20 grams, Thai hot chili 2 grams, garlic cloves 3 grams, dry shrimp crushed 15 grams. For the tamarind dressing you're going to need dried chili 5 grams, tamarind juice 30 ml, fish sauce 30 ml, lime juice 15 ml, palm sugar 30 grams. For the chili lime dressing recipe, you're going to need Thai hot chili finely chopped 5 grams, garlic fine chopped 10 grams, fish sauce 30 ml, lime juice 30 ml, palm sugar 20 grams, dried shrimp crushed 10 grams, coriander finely chopped 5 grams, peanut fried and crushed 20 grams, and for the garnishing, you're going to need coriander 5 grams, lime sliced 15 grams, fried peanut crushed 20 grams, iceberg lettuce 50 grams, tomato for garnish 20 grams, and cucumber for garnish 20 grams. Now that we're back from the recipe card, I hope you guys have noted all the ingredients down. And like our chef told us, that it is a very rich Thai salad, which is going to be made with papaya and lots of other ingredients and flavors. So chef, how are you going to start making this salad? So the first thing you have to make the preparation. So okay. the all the vegetable item you need to be clean or fill first. Then okay, we wonderful. make it ready. So when you're cooking in your your home, mm -hmm. or make, some, make it easy your life mm. and make it easy your uh, your uh, cooking. Don't uh, mess it. Then the first thing you fill the papaya and then shred it and then wash. And then this uh, you need a carrot. It's same as you okay. uh, this yes. uh, uh, shredded pillar and then tomato and you okay. make it butter on it and cherry tomato is just cut in half okay. after and then green bean you clean and then put the string out and then you need this whole garlic Okay, and how bread. many uh, cloves of garlic are we going to use in the salad? Garlic is for the one re uh, recipe is uh, Three uh, gram. This okay. is not Great. too much. This is for the flavor. So basically, this is going to turn out into a very colorful uh, salad. It's going to look really great once it's garnished as well. Yes, because this is for the coloring. You know, this yes, is uh, okay. carrot Wonderful. and uh, uh, cucumber, uh, tomato. Yes. This is for the coloring. And I've basically heard that this salad is very famous throughout Southeast Asia. It's highly enjoyed. Yes, this is the good for the you know this uh, winter time. This is mm -hmm. nice. This also the summer in a, in. A, Evening or uh -huh. afternoon, this mm -hmm. is you know for refresh. They mm -hmm. will be feel more angry when you uh, consume this uh, exactly. uh, salad. Yeah. And it's definitely something out of the ordinary as compared to the ordinary salads that we make. It's going to be very rich. There are a lot of ingredients that are involved and I'm sure you're going to make two salad dressings uh, yes, for this? Yes, this is salad. I make it uh, with two uh, types of the uh, dressing. Okay. So the first is uh, tamarind, this is uh, imli dressing. Okay, so that's basically going to bring a sweet flavor this is a, Yeah, this is a different. Okay. And then the other one is... Uh, uh, garlic chili dressing. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. So it's basically going to be sweet and sour, sweet something like and that, sour and chili. And, and spicy. Okay, wonderful. Is, yeah. So let's get started then, chef. So the first thing you, as all vegetable is done, so we need to uh, preparation the dressing. Okay. So this dressing you can uh, produce in one time. You can keep okay. in the refrigerator. It's uh, around one week or uh, two weeks. This is, will be nice. This because dressing. So all ingredient you mentioned already, I saw in a yes. uh, recipe. Yes, in recipe so card. we just start uh, how to make a tamarind dressing. Okay, the wonderful. first thing you need to turn on the stove. Okay. You reheat the pan. 
Okay. And then we put some, uh, you know, tamarind. Okay. Inside. And a lot of people, especially in Pakistan, really love tamarind. Yes, this is tamarind is very famous in yes, Pakistan. Yes, yes, it really you know, is. Uh, I know this for the, uh, you know, pakora. Yes, exactly. Chutney, they eat it with pakora, especially in Ramzan. Yeah, then yes. palm sugar. Okay. This is, is uh, we have in a local market. Okay. You know, this is, if you get, uh, don't get this one, you can use this brown sugar or white okay, sugar. Okay, so wonderful, yeah. guys. If you don't find palm <coughs> sugar, you can easily use a replacement, which yeah. is brown sugar. And our chef is going to make this recipe very easy for us. And yes. do make sure that you follow along, uh, along for the rest of it. It's going to turn out absolutely fantastic. Then we put chili. Okay. Chili, you can adjust the, if you want it's a spicy or medium spicy. Okay. So it's the totally up to you. The quantity you can, this is up to you. Okay. This, you can use this as fish sauce. So is fish sauce easily available everywhere or do we yes, have to go to a specific market? Yes, we have in market? a local market in okay, Pakistan, in a, especially in Islamabad, they have in a coastal market. Yes, exactly. And this is lemon juice. Okay. Yeah. And how much lemon juice are we using? Lemon juice is a 30 gram per okay. uh, milliliter. Okay, wonderful. And then just make it boiling. Yeah, okay. this is a little bit this uh, mixing. Yeah. Okay, so all of the ingredients are sort of like going to merge together and it's going to become a one wonderful flavor. And there the sugar is uh, dissolved. Okay. So this is a, you can simmer and then mm -hmm. boiling first and then simmer around uh, 30 minutes. This okay. is, you, while you uh, are uh, simmering mm -hmm. the sauce, you can make it the other dressing. So, okay, so okay. otherwise it's not wasting your time. Exactly. So this is, you can uh, reduce the fire. Okay. Yeah, this is make it simmer it okay. and then after you check the taste and then we start with the chili lime, lime dressing. Okay, wonderful. So you, as mentioned also in uh, earlier, is yes. uh, chopped garlic. Just put inside. Okay, about two teaspoons of chopped yeah. garlic. And then and Thai hot chili. This is very spicy chili again if you like yes. it. Uh, you know, more spicy. There's is a lot of people to, yeah. in Pakistan that like eating spicy food. So this is going to go really well for And them. then we need some uh, fish sauce. Okay. This the fish sauce and the sugar should be uh, the lemon juice should be equal. Okay, so in if you put this uh, thirty milliliter of mm -hmm. the fish sauce, is uh, lemon juice should be thirty milliliter. This equal okay. this you know the the okay. salty and the sour. Okay, so will be equal. Yeah. So it really has to be the exact same quantity. Yeah, and then also this is uh, dania. This is okay. chopped. Okay, this wonderful. If you can get this, the the root is of the dania. This the yeah. This is will be better. This the taste for the dressing. Yeah. Okay. It is okay. Great. Normally, this is the root is you throw it, just keep it. Okay, it's so wonderful. So inside. we're going to use all of it, and we're not wasting any of the ingredients that we're using. And then it's, we put some uh, brown sugar also. Okay. So this dressing is. And that's about two teaspoons of brown sugar. This is uh, around 30 milligram also. Okay. This, is, this will make it as spicy, sour, and a little bit salty from the fish sauce. Yeah. Yes, and it's going to be sweet yeah. uh, from the tamarind as well. So, so it's basically going to mixing. be very rich in flavors. Yeah. So this is you can produce in uh, maybe like a one liter. Okay. Yeah? So you can keep in your refrigerator. Okay, wonderful. And then, of course, you will adjust with the salt. It says if you need definitely. and make sure you check the taste. Can okay. Give me one spoon. It says. Yes, sure. Yeah. There you go. So make sure it says, you know, when you're cooking, it says testing is very important. Exactly. So because it's uh, the recipe sometimes is different of the ingredient. Exactly. Because it's like, you know, garlic, garlic is, is, is every, every uh, country is different taste because the weather, maybe the soil, this is, this is make it different, the ingredient. And everyone has a different liking when it comes to seasoning. They might prefer more salt yeah. or less salt. So it's always better that you taste it so while you're cooking. So be, be careful, this is, is, see the taste is sweet, okay. sour, and a little bit uh, salty from the fish okay, sauce. Wonderful. So for me, it's, I need a little bit sugar, okay. otherwise it's too much sour. So wonderful. So guys, you see yeah. that how important it is to actually taste uh, the dressing while you're making the final preparations. So your dressing is done, then, then you just keep in the refrigerator. Okay. And then now we keep uh, outside and then we're checking the tamarind sauce. Yes, it's it's come already to a simmer, boil. yeah. Yes. You can see this is, yes, yeah. It, it looks wonderful. It's become really thick and nice. Yes. Then, we, of course, also we need to check the taste. Yes, of course. A 
This is nice. Okay, wonderful. You got the sour from the, you know, the tamarind. Mm -hmm. It's very nice and then a little bit spicy. Wonderful. And also this is from the lemon juice, make it more as power of the dressing. And it's going to add the acidity into For the uh, salad. The, yes, This exactly. salad is done. You can it's just strain. Oh. Just give me the strainer. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can strain the, because it's, you know, the chili. The chili is, mm -hmm. just, yeah. Just put in a small amount here. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah. Give me that. So this one you should be keep it cool in the refrigerator. Okay. And then we put we using you can produce in one time at least okay. you make in one liter or two liter. And then and we then can use it later it. on. You can is uh, we keep at the side and then now is both of dressing is done. So all is vegetable is clean already. So all is ready. So the tool is you need this one is mortar. This is for the spice pan. This is make it little bit fun for the salad. So I continue now is for the finishing. Okay. So okay. all your dressing is done, tamarind dressing and uh, chili lime dressing is done. Mm -hmm. Then now you start with the garlic and chili inside. Again, okay. chili, chili is, is, you know, this not all is like it, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. So you can adjust it. For me, it's just, I really like it, this chili, you know. So you put this inside. This is a Thai chili, right? Yes, it okay. is, is a spicy Thai chili. Okay, wonderful. And then put the food uh, first is uh, the garlic. Okay. But Watching your eyes, the chili, this is mm. the seed, this will be, you know, just cover on top Wonderful. until the chili is break. Okay. And then we start the pound, yeah. This. So we basically garlic just want and chili is done. To crush all the ingredients. Yeah. And then continue with the, the other vegetable is carrot. Okay. It's the main ingredient is the papaya. papaya. Papaya, you put more. And then put some tomato and green bean also put inside. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. So and there are a lot of ingredients that we're using for the salad. Dry stream in and inside for the make the flavor of this salad. So now we start continue to pounding. Yeah. So maybe we remove to yeah. So chef, what is the texture that we're basically looking for that will know that the salad has been pounded correctly? So this is the pound, you know, the papaya will be the flavor we're coming because it's not really okay. crunchy, but okay. still crunchy. Then the combination of the mm -hmm. chili, mm -hmm. when you using the blender, is just mm -hmm. the flavor is different. Okay. So that's why we, this why we are the long time ago the cooking is always manual because this the flavor will be mm -hmm. you know okay. still original the taste of the like a spice okay so we're not basically going to change the actual flavor yes, of the spice it's just it going to merge the, together the blender, this, this, okay. you know, yes this, this yes yeah. absolutely and then the juice of the spice is coming out and absolutely then the, the taste is a little yes, bit different definitely. so mm -hmm. you see like i said this one is okay wonderful you know, this we mixing yes. on the uh, mortar and then it's very really good. The color also is combination yes. of the green, red, and white. It looks very beautiful. Yes. Then we take out in the mixing bowl. Okay. Then we put on the side this one, and we are transfer to the bowl. Okay. So now we are coming to the final step. We're going yes. to present this the salad. Yes. Uh, now we finishing with the okay, salad wonderful. with the dressing. And then you're going to garnish it as well in the yes, end? Yes, we can put on the platter. See, this is a wonderful this color. Is, you know, look, already look, it's uh, yes. pretty of your dishes. This is a combination, green, red, and you know, whites. And then now we put some uh, brown sauce. You know, the tamarind is tamarind. Is okay. So is this the first dressing that we prepared? Yes, this is, you okay. make it as a tamarind dressing. Wonderful. And then it's, uh, also we put some uh, garlic chili dressing. Okay. This is the second dressing that you prepared? Yes. So also this is this you know, color from the coriander mm -hmm. and chili. Absolutely. And then now we are toasting the salad. Okay. Toasting is be careful. This is you can adjust with the lemon juice press. Okay. 
if you want to, you know, because it's just the uh, lemon juices will be make it more, you know, of a teeth of the, the disease, you can squeeze one fresh lime, uh, lemon juice inside. That's really going to bring another flavor into yes. our dressings. Wonderful. So, your salad is done. It looks now, very nice. And now, how are you plating? Plating you need this is uh, one plate. Uh, like a little bit uh, like a semi bowl or okay. don't use this uh, you know, like a dinner plate because this is uh, you know liquid exactly liquid will be spread this. exactly yes i uh, recommend is use this like a, you know a little bit deep the a bowl. little bit of a bowl yes a salad bowl and then uh, before we plating you need yes. this garnishing okay. garnishing same, same like a, you know like a woman is when you put some food, you need some lipstick <laughs> or whatever. This make it here, you know, interesting to people. Is yes, exactly. Because these people are eating by eyes. Uh, exactly, looking. presentation is very important. These people is wow. Yes, exactly. Whoa, they have to be impressed. These people is the eyes is a wow. This is exactly. The, that means this is already oh your your stomach is one is okay. Get me this. Stuff. And the okay. dish is inviting you to itself. Yes. So it has to look pretty. So I need one uh, tomato for the garnish. So this is I make it a simple garnish. So just cut quarter tomato and then we need this uh, cut between meat and uh, skin. Okay. Yes. Done until finish. A little bit keep and then in the center you just cut in half. Okay, wonderful. Well, it's like this is very simple. Oh, very easy. Yeah, very easy. And then also is we need to cucumber. Cucumber you cut in half. For me, cooking is I don't want to make it complicated. Mm -hmm. I want it easy. And simple, that's how it should be. Yes. Easy to following, and then the, the taste. The taste will be good. exactly yeah. everything is about the taste. Yes. This is cut in the skin a little bit, and okay. then slice. Be careful when you make it. Uh, this is as thin you can uh, make the cucumber will okay. be nice for the garnish. And then Wonderful. I think it's enough four or three pieces for the one. And then the other one is take out. Mm -hmm. Make sure when you're cooking is keep it clean. Exactly. That's a basic step that you have to make sure everything is hygienic and clean, That's and you don't leave a mess. Don't let it mess your exactly. area. Exactly. And then don't waiting until you finish of the cooking. As Definitely. When, while you're cooking is just. Clean your kitchen Definitely. and a little bit dust, uh, dustbin you keep away and just keep it your areas clean. Will be nice. That is okay? the first step to cooking. And then you need some uh, light uh, lettuce. The lettuce you can put as iceberg mm -hmm. or as maybe green lettuce, maybe some Roman lettuce. This is just for the garnish. Okay. You know? And then as you take the plate and then you arrange the Lettuce so and this meat. is basically the most important step, which is presenting yes. our salad in a very beautiful manner. And then now you put the salad, then the mixer before you put in the plate. Mm -hmm. You mixing a little bit because we'll be okay. combined of the dressing, and then refresh of the salad will be looking good. And then now it's start when you put the salad, try something. Your your hands should be light. Okay. It's different when we're cooking in a hot dishes. Mm -hmm. This is salad you need, you know, it's like a tart of the woman. It's a little bit light like this, you know. Then the salad will be looking is uh, fresh and alive. This one. Okay. okay. Wonderful. So we put in a button a little bit, make okay. it like a base, and then the second one is make a little bit and bring it off your hand. Yeah. There will be. You know, the present like a little bit like a mountain will be good. Okay, wonderful. And it's going yeah. to look really well with all the garnishing and the flavors and the colors. This is dressing, don't be true. You just is pouring on top, they will be coming in the button. Okay. So this is why it's necessary to use a salad bowl instead instead of a plate. Yes, this is because it's uh, the liquid. Liquid yes, is exactly. you know, not this mess mm -hmm. around. Yes. And then we start put some cucumber. Make cucumber is you can arrange one by one like this is nice like a fan you know yes yeah and it's very finely chopped. yeah this is see, it's very this thin will be looking good also just put between the letters so arrange is nice and then one is cucumber we make it before the tomato and again we need some more okay coriander or you know parsley but the most is Asian cuisine is uses coriander. You know, yes, they use, use coriander more. Dinner. Yes, yes exactly. you can find some, you just put in. And then Wonderful. the last, what we need is crushed peanut. Okay. Peanut also will be nice when you're eating, will be crunchy. Mm -hmm. Just sprinkle on top. Wonderful. 
then salad is done. That looks absolutely fantastic. It looks so beautiful. So, this is the presentation. This Wonderful. Is, then you lettuce, garnish, and some sprinkle of the spinach, uh, peanut, and then there's a coriander on top. And then we are ready to serve. It looks absolutely spectacular yeah. and in a, ma in a matter of no time, our chef made such a wonderful salad for us. It was rich in a lot of ingredients. It had two uh, different dressings. The first one was a tamarind dressing and that was followed by a lime dressing. Yes. And uh, the presentation is remarkable. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this recipe as much as I did and that you guys do try it at home. We are always open for your feedback, your comments and your suggestions. Do stay tuned because we will be starting our main course. Welcome back after the break and guys you can see that our chef has prepared a spectacular salad for us. It was rich in papaya and a lot of other ingredients. It had two different dressings and it looks absolutely fantabulous. With the garnishing it looks marvelous and I can't just wait to see what our chef will be cooking for the main course today. So chef what are you making? Today I will cook the fish dishes. This is the name is of this from Thai, this plasam rose. Okay. This is uh, a fish uh, fried with uh, tamarind sauce. Again, I choose a tamarind sauce. No, I'm sure it's going yeah. to go really well. So guys, I hope you have your notepads and your pens ready. We are moving on to the recipe card. You're going to need fish sliced, red snapper fillet, 100 grams, egg, 1, flour, 10 grams, corn flour, 5 grams, salt, 2 grams, white pepper powder, 2 grams, chili paste, 1 gram, garlic, fine chopped, 10 grams, onion diced 20 grams, cherry tomato cut in half 30 grams, chicken stock or water if necessary. Tamarind sauce, you're going to need fish sauce 5 ml, tamarind water 30 gram, coriander fresh chopped 5 grams, garlic fine chopped 10 grams, onion fine chopped 10 grams, Thai hot chili fine chopped 2 grams, palm sugar 15 grams, tomato ketchup 10 grams, fresh tomato peeled puree 10 grams, oyster sauce 5 ml, chili paste 5 grams, white sugar 2 grams and ginger chopped 2 grams. So now that we're back from the recipe card I hope that you noted all of the ingredients down and without wasting any more time we're going to start our main course. So chef let's start. Okay thank you. So this is a recipe you mentioned. I just want to like about the fish. Fish you need this uh, white fish and this is not uh, only the snapper. Mm -hmm. You can get this uh, maybe it's local salmon is whatever it is uh, fish you can get from the market. It's, but this is I recommend this is a uh, white fish. Okay. You know, red snapper as a uh, uh, local salmon is used there. Okay, okay, wonderful. So now we start this. All okay. the the main ingredient you should be mm -hmm. prepared like this. So the, you need this fish fillet. Fish fillet, this is skin it out. You make it a slice, yeah? And then it's around maybe like 30 gram, 40 gram in one slice. So maybe you can make it bigger or you make it thinner. Because it's, this is will be fried. It's okay. I recommend is make it thinner will be uh, easy to uh, fry this one. Okay, so we're basically going to deep fry the fish. Yes, this okay. will be uh, fried fishes. Then the vegetable you mentioned in the recipe is yes, capsicum exactly. color. So we have a tree as a yellow, green and uh, a red. Mm -hmm. And also we need some onion. We need some uh, tomato cherry just cut in half. So for the marination you need the chili paste and the chopped garlic, egg. And also it's a corn flour. It's a flour and salt, pepper, and then sesame oil. Okay, wonderful. So this is a keep it aside first, and then the main is uh, thing is how to making the sauce. Okay. The sauce you have mentioned, I shall already yes. on the recipe. Yes, exactly. So all ingredients is put in a separate bowl, or you put in a one uh, uh, plates, but it's, we need to separately. So the first thing you need to be on the stove, you know. Okay, so we can use a medium-sized saucepan for the yes, sauce? Yes, just depend okay. on the quantity you make it. So okay. If you make it like a, maybe 4 liter or 5 liter. Okay. So especially we are cooking in a, a not a with mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. big uh, quantity. So okay. we, we use this, uh, the bigger uh, pots. Okay, wonderful. So and the first thing you put is uh, cooking oil in your sauce pot. And then just make it hot. Okay. And then first you eat, uh, cook the garlic. Okay. onion 
and is this uh, and a gal uh, ginger. So okay, so are we going to saute all of these ingredients, or are we just going to cook them till they become brown? No, we need to be saute first until the aroma okay. of the okay. onion, garlic, and uh, once the aroma releases, that's what we want. Yes. Okay. So <coughs> we put some uh, chopped garlic. Also. And chef, is it always better to use freshly chopped ginger and garlic? Does it have more flavor as compared uh, to stuff that you can uh, put in the fridge? For example, if you peeled it and chopped it, for example, a week ago or two weeks ago. So will fresh uh, garlic have more flavor? Yes, this is, uh, okay. we need this, uh, you cook in the last minute of the, you know, garlic or so. Okay, okay. So. Onion, this is, which is more flavor. Mm -hmm. This will be, give the uh, taste of the food. Oh, wonderful. Yes, this start the pot. Yes. Just yes, saute until aromatic this onion, garlic and ginger. Okay, wonderful. And then after that is continuing with this uh, fresh tomato. Tomato you can uh, feel, uh, take out okay. the skin. And then the puree in the blender or you, can, you don't have a blender, you can just pine chop it by hand. Okay. This is just put together. And chef, sometimes we get uh, purees in cans. So is it better to use fresh tomatoes and make your puree at home rather than going for canned puree? This is, this is uh, not as a big deal because you okay. know, it's just get the fresh tomatoes, feel it, take out the, the, the mm -hmm. skin and then you chop it. And, and I'm then, sure everyone has a blender at home so it's going yes, to be easy uh, to make. Now it's everybody have yes, a blender. Exactly. You can make it a blender for easy. And then continue the stirring. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This now is, you see, just start the hot. Exactly, and the aroma is starting to come out. Yes, then continue with the sauce. This is like, uh, you know, uh, sugar. Okay. Uh, the first thing we need is tamarind. Tamarind is put in the, you know, uh, tomato together. Yes. And how much tamarind uh, did we use? This is uh, one recipe, is uh, 30 milliliters. Okay, okay. So you put some uh, water and then we strain the tamarind. Okay. Again, continue to stirring. Otherwise, it's, uh, but in the button, it's uh, getting burnt. Okay. Just keep it at the high speed because this tamarind need to be a little bit cooked. Will be more, okay. you know, flavor for the exactly. uh, sauce. Exactly. We one. really want it to be merged into the rest of the ingredients. Yes. Then what is continue the sauce is tomato ketchup, mm -hmm. white sugar, coriander, oyster sauce, and palm sugar, and Thai hot chili also, this this all together and uh, put in the uh, stock pot. And like you said that if we don't have palm sugar, we can easily go for brown yes. sugar. So that this can is, be used uh, as the, a substitute. The, the option we have at brown sugar, if you don't get the brown sugar, you can use this white sugar. Also. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Just so, to make it a sweetness of the, the sauce, okay. because it's, we're using uh, the tomato and uh, tamarind, the sauce is a uh, uh, little bit sour. Mm -hmm, exactly. Continue, we put some white sugar also. Wonderful. And then uh, tomato ketchup is for the coloring mm -hmm. a little bit, make it more red your sauce. And we should just keep on stirring and make sure that yes. all of the... Can you help me to stir? Yes, yes, sure, no problem. And then oyster sauce. Okay, wonderful. And then this, uh, because... Oh, what did I do? <laughs> okay, that was scary. No problem. This is because, the, you know, the oil is coming from the flame. This is, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. Then put some chili paste. Okay. So guys, be careful while you're standing. You don't want to set the house so, on yeah, fire. Because it's, yes. Yeah, So this, uh, we need to, you know, also when you're cooking, need to be safety. Safety is first. Yeah. Mm -hmm, exactly, this is, this, safety. This is uh, very important when you're cooking this. When you tap the hot uh, item, mm -hmm. uh, hot pan, hot pot. So make sure this uh, wearing the, you know, uh, towel or mm -hmm. at least use this dry towel. Don't use this uh, wet towel because wet towel is will be more is uh, you know okay. make uh, hot your uh, your uh, pan it's going to attract yeah. the heat more okay yes. so the sauce continue this just adjust with the salt and pepper mm -hmm. so what is missing i think missing is palm sugar right missing i think you yeah. added palm sugar yeah this we need some more because this okay. need to be adjust the sour from the okay uh, tamarind and then fish sauce So this is salt and pepper. This is very important. Mm -hmm. But make sure it's don't put too much, and then do this is less is okay. Mm -hmm. This is this, if you put uh, sauce uh, salt too much, then it will be the sauce is salty, and the exactly. first is will be okay. difficult to adjust. Whether okay. you when you're cooking is make it less first. 
Then okay, the second so we can, one you can So we can just add a little sprinkle of salt into it. Yes. So now you can uh, reduce the flame. Okay. Make it simmer. Otherwise, wonderful. It's, yeah, this is the sauce you need this cooking around maybe minimum is 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah? Fine. That's why that's why we need to be free cook this sauce. Mm -hmm. Make it the tomato and its tamarind is more uh, thick. And uh, chef, so to save time, we can chop the vegetables beforehand yes, so that it doesn't take. When yeah, you, wonderful. Don't just waiting for your sauce. It's exactly. Ready. We need just nothing to do. And then now, what will you doing? Just now, you need to be marinate of the fish. Okay. So how to marinate the fish? So you need this one bowl, yeah. And then the fish is already sliced. You just put in the side in the bowl. Make sure it's uh, the excess pani. This is removed. Yeah. Okay. Because it's the fish is sometimes, you know, this when we... Yes, it releases cutting, a lot of water. Yes, yes. In, in, in that one, they uh, still have excess of the water. So, then we start with the salt and pepper. Okay. This is for the seasoning. And Chef, like you said, that if a red snapper fillet is not available, we can use any white fish, yes. like salmon or any other film of yes. fish. This is little white with salmon also, it is very okay. nice, but it's a little bit, you know, the uh, price is a little bit uh, expensive. Okay. Then uh, we need this some um, uh, sesame oil. Okay. And, and how much sesame oil did you add? This is uh, sesame oil is in one recipe, it's uh, 5 uh, milliliter okay. or as uh, 10 milliliter maximum. It's just okay. no need too much because it's the, you know, the, the, the weight is just very light. Mm -hmm. Then you need some uh, corn flour. Okay. Corn flour is for the coating. Okay, so this is basically going to coat our fish really yes, well. Yes, this is a, like okay. a coating, you know. So I think it's just, you know, in Pakistan you're cooking a lahori fish. Yes, this exactly. Is, this is need this like this. Okay. And, and then this we need flour? some uh, egg. Yeah, this is flour and okay. corn flour. And it's a uh, chopped garlic. Wonderful. For the flavor. And then I need some uh, chili paste also in this uh, fish. Just put a little bit for the flavor. So how did you make the chili paste? Chili paste is, uh, uh, this is I uh, homemade in here. This, okay. I use this, uh, you know, the dried chili. Okay. So you is this to... Thai chili that you're using for this no, paste? No, this is, I uh, use this, uh, the Pakistani chili, okay. the, the okay. round one. Okay, the, dried one. the lal mirch. We need to boil first the, okay. the chili. And then uh, around one hour because to uh, reduce of the spices uh -huh. and then I strain and then I blend it in the oil and then cook with the uh, onion and garlic. Okay, wonderful. Then, I'm sure it's going to taste fantastic. Yes, this is uh, you blend this is uh, the chili then. Okay, wonderful. Like this. So uh, we need some uh, egg. So egg is put it one pieces mm -hmm. and then. It's what is when you will the marinade is wearing the globe. The globe is mm -hmm. also is good for the you know for the hygiene. Exactly. And then it's also this to shape your hand is just because as we use some as spices, mm -hmm. chili also. You know this we need to be uh, coat this uh, this fish. And then we need some a little bit liquid if necessary. Okay. You can put some oil a little bit. So you know why we why we put this some little bit oil. Mm. So we need to be separately when you frying the fish, and then we put some uh, liquid a little bit if mm -hmm. necessary. Okay? okay. Yes. And if we want, can we leave the marinated fr um, fish in the fridge for some time if we have time? Uh, can we leave it in the fridge for an hour or two hours so that, to really let the flavor set in, or should we just cook it straight away? Yes, this one you can marinate it in an uh, advance or so. This okay. one day before is no problem. It's maybe you marinate now, it's using for tomorrow okay. or using it for dinner. It's no problem. It's Wonderful. make it ready like this. Just keep in the refrigerator with the wrap. Okay. And then uh, maybe when you're cooking, mm -hmm. this is a Cook in last minute, it will be nice. You know? mm -hmm, exactly. So this, uh, you can, uh, I, I repeat this, marinate in advance, mm -hmm. maybe the day before or 24 hours, or maybe it's last minute is no problem. Okay, you, wonderful. You do, so it's going to taste that. absolutely yes. the same. So what are you doing it now? Now we need to fry this one. So okay. we need this of the fryer, and then uh, so we put in the oil one by one. Make okay. sure it's, uh, oil and I see is you've heated the oil before? Yes, we need to be reheat. Normally, we use this deep fryer in the electric, you know, it's just okay. mm -hmm. But when we're cooking in home, we use this, the manual is fryer like this. Okay. So, we need to test the oil first. Oh, this is too hot. Yep. And then we put inside the fish one by one. Okay. And it need to separately. Yeah. Yeah. 
And Chef, how long does it take for the fish to be fried properly the until it's cooked is through? The fish depends on the uh, uh, size of your uh, cutting. Uh -huh. If your big is a little bit longer. Okay. That's why I recommend it slices thin. Mm -hmm. Thin will be uh, fast to cook. Okay. Because it's, you know, this cooking, frying sometimes is difficult. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, inside is, uh, outside is burning, uh -huh. but in, inside is still is okay. uncooked. So, <coughs> we need to just stirring. Yeah, okay. you see this. Wonderful. Now we can see that's already changed its color and the coating has become firm yes, and golden is, brown. color is golden brown and then of course it's, uh, this is the fish will be a little bit crispy. Crispy is from the okay, corn wonderful. flour. That's why we need to be... And everyone loves crispy fish. So the, you see the fish is already cooked. Yes, it looks wonderful. So you need a strainer. Okay. Just leave it a few minutes for the drain of the oil. Okay. You know, and then transfer to the plate. Wonderful. Yes. It has been cooked wonderfully. It has a very beautiful golden brown color. Yes, and then uh, also the, the fish is crispy. You know? And I'm sure it's going to be cooked through as well, the most important part. Yes, make sure as your as a, a fryer is off, otherwise okay. it's very dangerous also. Then we just keep the fish in a side. Okay. So while the sauce, the sauce we need to be checking. Yes, it has been sim simmering yes, for quite so some time now. Yes, we need to check the taste. So this, the sauce is already getting thick because mm -hmm. from the tomato in a so we need to be check of the sauce. Okay, wonderful. The, thai, the taste is very nice. It's sweet, sour, and then a little bit spicy. Wonderful. And it looks good too. It looks yes. very pleasing to the eye. It looks like a very impressive sauce. So the sauce you can transfer in the bowl or the pan. Make sure when you keep in the refrigerator, Keep your sauces uh, cool. Okay. Then don't uh, store this uh, sauce in the hot dishes. And the sauce and the fish look absolutely wonderful. And then the fish is ready, sauce is ready. Now it's just the finishing. Okay. The finishing you need this is the vegetable, this one. It's mm -hmm. capsicum, onion, and chili tomato. And then we again, we just a little bit toss in the pan. Okay. You know, just reheat the non stick pan. Put a little bit oil. Yeah. Don't put oil too much, this oil is not good also for the Yes, exactly. Uh, as much you minimize the oil in the cooking, mm -hmm. this will be good. Yes. Yeah. The first thing you need is a little bit is uh, chopped garlic. Okay. So are we going to fry the vegetables? In yes, this? yes, okay. so a little bit okay. and then we add some more sauce in the inside. Okay. Look at this, just waiting for the hot and then give me one ladder to the, take the sauce. Yeah, this is that is. Uh, so, are we going hot? to saute um, the uh, garlic with the vegetables, or just cook it for a minute or two? This is more. This is the we need to add uh, some uh, tamarind sauce okay. inside, and okay. then we put a uh, uh, sauce on top. And okay. then while the pan is getting uh, hot, so we need to arrange the fish. So you need this. Uh, uh, plate also a little bit, uh, you know, cello because mm -hmm. the sauce will be uh, exactly. You know, uh, but this this is, is not good for the you know flat plate as will be sauce as a spread. Yes, it will uh, sort yeah. of like drip down and off yes, of the plate. Yes, the sauce keep aside, yes. and then I just arrange the fish. Maybe this is if you individual maybe this is two hundred gram for a portion. If you want this is you know like a family style or a silver surface. You can uh, put it more on the plate. Then there's uh, garlic is already brown. Yes, it's brown then now. Then we put the vegetable inside. Okay, so we're using colored bell peppers yes. and some onions. So, just saute this. This okay. one is not need the pan. Just you know, turn like a pan like this. Okay. Thirty seconds. Okay. This is all this flavor like you okay, can wonderful. put a little bit salt for the, mm -hmm. you know, for for the seasoning. seasoning. Yeah, just yes, a little exactly. bit, not too much. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just a white pepper powder a little bit. And the vegetables are still going to be crispy. Yes, this is a nice little bit of crunchy, you know. Okay, wonderful. And then you add the sauce inside mm -hmm. again. So this is for the when you are uh, reusing the sauce, you need to be reheated like this, you know. Okay. Put this maybe like a 200 milliliter for the one portion. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. And I think this is a great way to serve uh, fried fish. This is sauce already done. It's just mm -hmm. salt already put a little bit. 
Just ring in one line like this. Okay. Yeah. And like you said, presentation is very, very important. Yeah, we is, eat first with our is, eyes. Presentation is very, this make it, always is make the, you know, the main ingredient in the mm -hmm. center. Okay. Because it's from the, this side, this side is, people will be looking nice. So, so that is a very great tip like that a, you just shared. This is like a family style. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a, uh, dinner with uh, five people mm -hmm. or six people, just, just keep it more more uh, ingredient. And then the fish is already like this. Wonderful. A little bit clean the plate. Yeah. And the last, just put sauce on top. And the best part was that the sauce did not even take a lot of time to yeah, get cooked. Yeah, this mixture is just, you know, when you're putting the sauce, is put in the center was here. Okay. Then it's we're looking good, it's, you know, covering the... And the aroma that is coming from the sauce with all of the ingredients, it the vegetables you know, and the garlic, it's very nice. It's very nice, it's very nice yes. for the fish. Because it will be, you know, adjust of the... Uh, taste of the fish. Sometimes exactly. the fish, is, if the quality is not good, mm -hmm. the fish is getting uh, fishy because it's, the taste is the fish of uh, very strong. Mm -hmm. So now we need uh, some garnish. So you know, need this uh, very complicated garnish. Just put a little bit, it's like a julienne, you know, vegetable on top. Yes, because yeah. there's a lot of uh, colors going on you with the sauce and the fish bit. as julienne well. Julienne is fresh ginger, and also it's uh, spring onion, carrot. Just put on top a little bit like this. Yeah, the this is will be looking ready, and then you can slice some lemon. This is always a seafood is very, very matching with the lime. Yeah, and just put more like a three pieces or two pieces on top. Maybe put some more because as people will be like it, the squeeze when uh, during mm -hmm. the meal. This at least if you four people give it four otherwise it's fighting on the table where's my lime where's my lime <laughs> yeah. that this is, is true. make it uh, equal it's, uh, normally i cooking like this if i accept it's uh, okay it's five people i give mm -hmm. it six at least one extra mm -hmm. this one is uh, you know it is on now then but make sure done is less than amount of the uh, customer otherwise they oh where is, you get the product so it should be sufficient it. for everyone yes. everyone should have a lime wedge for them and then again, you put some, uh, you know, uh, garnish for the green. Is this coriander? This, yeah, this is put this fresh coriander. Okay. And then this little bit is make it this in the center. Wonderful. And then make sure before you serving the food, plate always is clean, you know. Exactly. Yeah. And then you can uh, take maybe this uh, your food is a little bit oily. You can just take out the oil also. Okay. You know, because it's, you know, oily is people will feel, oh, it's just not healthy or food. Yes, so. exactly. So, so we can just dab the excess oil with a uh, kitchen towel or a tissue So this paper. is the fish. This is, just, uh, I make it present for, uh, you know, like a family style, maybe for four people or five person, this one. This is, will be served on the table like this. So, so we put, yeah. So it looks absolutely wonderful. It was a great effort that was put in by Chef Moyan and he prepared two wonderful dishes for us. The first one was a fantastic Thai appetizer which involved a lot of ingredients and the main focus was papaya and in the second half of the show he prepared this lovely uh, deep fried fish for us with, which went with a wonderful uh, tamarind sauce. It had a lot of vegetables, some garlic and some chilli. So I'm sure that you guys must be really impressed with his effort because I surely am and do join Join us next Sunday uh, every week at 6 p.m. where we will teach you more recipes with different chefs and your feedback and your comments are always welcome. Do write in to us. Tell us if you're enjoying the show, if there are any changes that you want us to make. All of your suggestions will be entertained. Uh, till then, uh, take care and thank you so much, uh, Chef Oyan, for thank taking you, out Chef. time for us and yeah, making such wonderful dishes for us. Thank you.